Look at that. That's the test of the 74 Wild Portal. Well, you guys are correct. This is not a Jeep. This is not a Toyota Tacoma with a solid axle. This isn't a Chevy truck with a solid axle. This is a Bronco. This is our first time uh, putting portals on a Bronco. So we just got finished putting on the 74 weld portals on this Bronco for Joe. This is a Badlands edition and it came in bone stock on height, stock tires, um, we put the portals on and boom. Now we have 38 inch Nitto trail grapplers, Icon Rebound Pros, and uh, basically it's ready to go wheeling. It's taken us a long time to get one of these in and the idea of portals has always been such a cool idea and a lot of companies weren't doing it to the fullest. You know, thinking about ABS, thinking about uh, e-brake cables, all the little details like that and 74 weld has figured it out from start to finish and this was a three-day project maybe people don't know what a portal is so basically the portal box bolts on where your wheel hub is drops down approximately 3.88 inches uh, and then it has a new wheel hub on there and inside this portal box is a gear reduction which in this case it's a 22 percent gear reduction so that 22% gear reduction is pretty much exactly the same size that we went up in tire size from the stock tires to the 38s. So by doing the portal boxes, you get 3.88 inches of lift, but it raises the axles too, just drops the wheels down. The 74 weld clearance test, look at that. That's the test of the 74 weld portals. My belly, oh, does it quite hit the diff. That's a lot of clearance. That right there is the belly clearance. You know what I mean? Belly clearance. You're not gonna do that without 74 weld portals. One of the, the downfalls of the portals is it does make the Bronco wider. Now, if you look down the side of this thing right here, um, the 38s are only sticking out maybe two and a half to three inches. Uh, and that is also uh, a big part of doing this job correct. So these Icon Rebound Pros are 17 by eight and a half. So they're a narrow rim. They're not a full nine inch rim, but they have plus 25 millimeters of offset, which as far as backspacing goes, 5.75 inches in. So the portals make the vehicle wheel mounting surface 3.5 inches wider on each side. And then with a huge offset rim or a big offset rim like this, it sucks it back in, which helps your scrub radius um, and stuff like that. So it doesn't make it stupid wide with the portals on it. It actually looks really good. All in all, pretty easy install. So we took this thing in on Monday. Today's Thursday. So the portals were basically installed in two days. Uh, on the third day, we had that extra day in there because we also did the billet upper control arms from Icon and tucked in there, you can see the Fox coilovers along with the Icon upper arms while we did the portals. So that gave them just a little bit more of height, but basically just a better upper control arm as well. You can still take these shocks down to a stock height. Um, so three day job with alignment, um, everything. The, the one little uh, hiccup we ran into that wasn't a hiccup, we were ready for it, is these new Broncos. This happens to be the Badlands Edition. Um, all the brakes are electronically controlled because the engine turns on and off and it's basically got solenoids for everything. And you can't just crack a brake bleeder and have somebody inside the Bronco pushing the brakes and bleed the brakes. You have to go through a forced bleeding process with the computer. Um, easier to plug in a laptop and pressure bleed the system. Um, so that takes a couple hours, but that was the hardest part, believe it or not, of installing the portals. Other than that, uh, 74 Weld uh, gives us a great installation video. The products are unbelievable. Everything looks air aircraft quality. 6061 portal boxes. Um, 
by doing the portals, it comes with new rear axle shafts. So you're getting 4340 chromoly rear axles with the upgrade, which is good. You're, uh, that's another benefit because let's face it, the cost of the portals, the initial upfront cost is expensive. Uh, this set of portals is $20,000. So you look at that and go, God, that's a lot of money. Well, you're getting the lift, you're getting your gears done, and you're getting chrome all your rear axles. So all that is a pretty good upgrade along with bigger brake rotors as well. So you have a brake upgrade uh, to go along with the oversized tires. So all in all, when you break it down, thinking how much you get with that initial uh, all money in, it's not bad. And the fact that the install, when you're paying a shop like us to do the job, really doesn't take that much time. I mean, three days in and out. And on Jeep installs, lift kits, you know, same thing. We have them for a couple days as well. Especially if you're doing the gears and doing a lift kit, that's, that's two full days of work right there. Um, so there's pros and cons. I mean, I guess the one thing is you gotta be a Bronco owner, but these things are here to stay. Uh, they're not going anywhere. This one happens to have a bunch of extra upgrades, Rockside Engineering steps, uh, awesome rear bumper with uh, swinging tire rack. So the 38 went right on it, um, has full belly skids underneath it. People ask, is this gonna replace the Jeep? We keep on talking about it. I don't think so. But in this case, Joe is actually gonna go run the Rubicon in his Bronco and you know, I like to see somebody take this, go through the rocks and see what it can do. Um, everybody wants to talk crap about the rack and pinion, tie rod ends, you know, that's the weak point on these, which will still be a weak point with the portals. We haven't changed or upgraded that by putting portals on. However, he does have the billet uh, rack housing from 74 weld already, which is a weak point. And then it has the Ford, um, aftermarket tie rods as well so you know he's got it just about as much as you can do in that front end and everybody's aware of it i mean this thing's got lockers front and rear just like a rubicon model um i'll be interested to see uh how it does on the rubicon because this is a customer that is going to go take it and four wheel it and hit the rubicon and put it through the paces so uh only time will tell but cool rig and not a jeep but God damn, it's nice. And the 74 Weld stuff is awesome. So hope you like Joe's Bronco and uh, we'll see what happens in the next six months.